This is a traditional Catalonian masia from the 17th century. Esta masía pues, es de la familia y de los abuelos. Mi padre nació y vivió aquí y con el paso del tiempo pues, digamos que se fue dividiendo a la masía en varias partes. Así que los tres hermanos nos repartimos en esta zona y lo que es la masía grande, que es aquella parte de ahí, pues bueno, para el resto de, de tíos y primos, etc. ¿no? Y arriba había como una terraza y un volumen muy extraño y es ahora el, el espacio de mi hermano. His sister's apartment was the house of the old horse that the family had. It was called Nino. The, the, the horse, horse was living here. Was here and the wagon, yes, the wagon, it was there. And It's still there in the other part. Is it really? Yes. Uh, finalmente, a, nos, a nuestras manos llegó este volumen de aquí, que es un volumen anexo a la masía, completamente independiente, que era el antiguo pajar. It was an uh, hayloft. Era el sitio, eh, digamos, el almacén, era el peor sitio de la casa, ¿no? Y bueno, al principio dices, eh, ¿qué haremos? Pero bueno, somos arquitectos. Y lo primero que hicimos fue eh, descubrir lo que es la caja de piedra, porque esto estaba antes eh, tapado con mortero. As the poor part of the house, this was all covered. You couldn't see the stone. We only opened one window. It was this fenetre longer, this long window, to watch the garden from inside. This was a stone box, so this is what it had to be. This is a small, very small surface, and the area is very small. So if we started to divide so much and create so many different areas, it would be perceived more smaller even. So we wanted just one element. We decided to build this box inside the box, this white box inside the box that was containing upstairs the, there's a small bathroom. And when the box comes to the ground floor, we have the kitchen and kind of a small living room. Here you are covered by the upper floor makes it much more domestic this area, but not to go with this floor through the, that limit. You have less square meters, but you have much more volume. So you wanted to think in cubic? Yes. So we wanted just one element that could be organizing everything, that you could read all around the stone character of the hayloft. In lo que es la caja de piedra, conservamos todas las aperturas que tenía, las originales, y esa es la única apertura que creamos de, de, de cero, digamos, de nuevo. ¿vale? Nos da toda la profundidad hacia el campo y la, y la naturaleza y las vistas, ¿no? So we had a respect for the ancient building of stone and we create this uh, contrast between the new uh, construction that is in the, in the middle and it's uh, white, it's red, uh, in contrast with the stone uh, building that is around from the 17th century. So you always have these visuals from upstairs to downstairs make, make bigger the perception of the house. Okay. And when we go around this box here, this is actually the only uh, closed uh, area in the house, it's the bathroom. It's a small bathroom, but it's not big, but it's enough. It also has this red and white thing. We were going crazy because even the towels, <laughs> at the end, in the ground floor, this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen, so it's all the humid pieces of the house, the bathroom and the kitchen, are related. So it's easier also for the construction because installation is, are all running through this. Those tubes, what are those? Ah. It's the ventilation of the kitchen and the bathroom. The walls don't go up with No, we didn't want to divide so much, so we could uh, read the ceiling uh, continuously, not stop it and make it small. We were also always looking to try to make the perception wider or, or bigger. Even in, in the mirror here, 
it, it makes that the wall doesn't stop here. You can see uh, the ceiling and the stone, like they were running through that direction also. You can also see it here, because as you don't have this room isolated from the rest, it makes it like the uh, longest dimension from the house. You read here from the beginning through to the end. La profundidad que siempre tienes, digamos, de poder ver todas las esquinas de la casa. De lo que es la caja de piedra, tú siempre puedes estar viendo la esquina izquierda, esquina derecha, siempre tienes una profundidad visual, ¿no? This kind of strategy of this uh, running all around and not going like putting anything through the walls. Is that your closet? Yes. Yes. You like to keep things just yes, minimal. Yes, it's, it's practical for us because we go like, I need this, I can see this, I put this. And I take off this, and here. It's easier for our way of living. It also uh, makes us have order. So here, we took profit with, with building a, a closet. It's, uh, it's functional here because we are related to the room. And also here, it's storage, but for the study here. So this is the study? Yes. We came here with the computers and we just work here, always having this relation with this outside. The old ceiling was like this one. That's a traditional way of constructing ceilings here. By the wood, the, the tiles, and the just thing we have done is insulation. But these tiles some are broken because they were, they were the original ones. To recycle, we reuse the We reuse the tiles, the, the tiles that were here. Yes. We, we like because it also has the atmosphere that, uh, from what it was in the origin. Por esta ventana es por donde entraba la paja en el pajar. Pues esta ventana que queda a tres metros de abajo, llegaba el carro aquí detrás y tiraban la paja aquí. When we are, you are in bed, you see also the, the trees, the, that is La Pineda, is the pine trees. And this window, it's exactly the old one. The original one. O sea, al final, todos los materiales son también de la zona, ¿no? O sea, que no hay un transporte lejano desde ningún sitio. Mm -hmm. And here are all natural materials. So here you have the stone, the windows are in wood. The floor is traditional from here, it's called toba. It's very, very traditional from here, uh, Empurda, a la Empurda. If you want some potatoes or something, eh? Venga, give me some potatoes and a Coca-Cola. We are pretty used to, to create and work around small spaces. We really believe that they are much more easily to make comfortable. But there's also some conception that people don't like small spaces. Many people go like, I want a big uh, house. Like, if I have five, five bedrooms and uh, three bathrooms, you count, it goes like 15. Yes, this is big house, good house. It's, and I think it's not necessary. Not everybody is the same. So it seems everybody wanted the same type of, of house. We are not great cookers. <laughs> no. So we can uh, live with a little fridge. Small, Small fridge. We have a, a very easy um, stove. stove and, uh, and nothing more. Well, then espresso, that is uh, the most important coffee. thing. It's the coffee in the morning. <laughs> This is good for us because we were searching for this kitchen to be much more like a closet or a furniture than kitchen. This is good for us because we don't like and know how to cook so much. So this way we are always treating it like furniture. So this thing goes right because it's hiding and makes it like a table. What is important is that the apartment can be adaptable at different situations. No? So you have uh, solutions like uh, this one. No? This can be connecting from here no, or, or, or not. So, uh, for example, this is a situation, an easy situation, a, a cheap situation. 
that uh, that can communicate this these those two spaces or not. We always change the use of this room. When we have friends here in summer, they sleep here. A veces de este. No, this was when I was younger and I had some much more time. Here we have some storage. I don't know what we can see here, you see? Because uh, as you can see, if we, if we don't have any walls in the facades, we need some storage. If sometimes you want to give some privacy, we can close it here and then uh, separate it from the other part. So also in the future, it could give us the possibility or the chance to divide here, for example, and you can have one room here and here one another room. Wow. So this is kind of the flexibility of this box inside the big box. So you think you could even get two more yes. bedrooms? Yes, yes, yes. It depends mm -hmm. on children. <laughs> <laughs> we have some old paintings here. Now we are reprogramming this room. We have some paintings from his grandma. Dedicatoria de la abuela para David Bonito, 1999. Tengo 93 años, Pony. Y aún vivió algunos más. Y aún vivió algunos sí, más. Sí. <laughs> so there's, it's sort of special that you have part of her house now. I mean, everybody can have part yes, of the house. Yes, yes. Exactly. Of her house. Yeah. <laughs> Here the house, it's been shared at summer for everybody, but it, you don't have the feeling that here's a limit, here's a limit, here's another limit, because this is something that the family doesn't want to say, I'm here, you are here, and don't annoy me, no? Juntos, pero no revueltos. Cada uno tiene su espacio, sabes, dentro de la masía, pues que es suficientemente grande, no? Do you feel like there's something different about living in a place with things that have age? That yes. They have memory. We think it's much more interesting and beautiful to know that memory and transform it into a new value. Sí, de alguna manera tomas el relevo yes. de toda esta historia, ¿no? Esto tiene 300 años, no puedes cortar. Tienes que tomar el relevo y evidentemente darle tu historia ¿no? y nosotros pues con, con este proyecto pues hemos pretendido también darle esta historia y entendemos que esto pues pues seguirá y pasará but then it, this is beautiful because when we make these three apartments and this transformation of this part it came all to a new life why is it called la paliza because la paliza means in catalan hayloft Y aquí es donde la paja se picaba para sacar el grano a la paja, en este, en este patio. Que estaba todo pavimentado ya, todo esto. Before, all of this was, uh, no one used it. It was the dark part and no one looked at it and had any kind of life. De la paja que se sacaba por esta puerta que también es eh, original. Original, no, esta no se ha cambiado. Le hemos puesto dos peldaños, pero, uh -huh. pero es la puerta original. When we came here and covered it, it has now a strong and dynamic and a new life. So that's good for the continuing this memory.